Hello, my name is Dr. Dota Panini. I'm one of the psychiatrists here at Tanner. I wanted to talk to you today about stress and coping during the COVID crisis. Any outbreak can be stressful. The outbreak of the coronavirus in 2019 has been very stressful for a lot of us. Fear and anxiety about the disease can be overwhelming and can cause strong emotions in adults and children. Coping with the stress will make you and the people around you as well as your community stronger. Stress can include fear and worry about your own health and the health of your loved ones, changes in your sleeping or eating patterns, difficulty sleeping or concentrating, worsening of chronic health and mental health conditions, as well as increased use of alcohol, tobacco, or other drugs. Everyone reacts differently to stressful situations. How you respond to the outbreak can depend on your background and the things that make you different from other people. People who respond more strongly to the stress include older people and people with chronic diseases who are at higher risk for severe illness, as well as children and teens. First responders like doctors and other healthcare providers also are undergoing significant stress from the COVID virus. People who have mental health conditions, including problems with substance use, are having a particularly rough time now. Take care of yourself and your community. Taking care of yourself and your friends and your family can help you cope with stress. Helping others cope with their stress can also make your community stronger. What are some of the ways you can cope with stress? Take breaks from watching, reading, or listening to news stories, including use of social media. Hearing about the pandemic repeatedly can be very upsetting. Take care of your body. Deep breathing, stretching exercises, and meditation are some ways you can do to reduce the stress. Eat a well, healthy, well-balanced meal. Try to get a, a regular exercise and plenty of sleep and avoid using alcohol and drugs. Make time during the day to unwind. Try to do some other activities you enjoy. Also, make some time to connect with others in your life. Talk with people you trust about your concerns and how you are feeling. Know the facts about COVID can help also re reduce the stress. Understanding the risk to yourself and people that you care about can make the outbreak less stressful. Take care of your mental health. Call your healthcare provider if the stress gets in the way of your daily activities for several days in a row. People with pre-existing mental health conditions should continue with their treatment and be aware of new or worsening symptoms. For parents of children, children and teens react in part on what they see from the adults around them. When parents and caregivers deal with the COVID-19 calmly and confidently, they can provide the best support for their children. Parents can be more reassuring to others around them, especially children, if they are better prepared. If you do have children, watch for behavior changes in your child and teens because they do respond to stress in different ways. Some of the common changes to look out for are excessive crying or irritation in younger children, returning to behaviors that they had outgrown, such as toiling accidents or bedwetting, excessive worrying or sadness, irritability, difficulty with attention and concentration, avoiding activities that they had enjoyed in the past, and unexplained body symptoms like headaches and pain. Answer questions in a way that your child or teen can understand. Reassure your child or teen that they are safe. Limit your family's exposure to news coverage. Children may misinterpret what they hear and can be frightened about something they do not understand. Try to keep up with regular routines. Schools are closed now. So having a schedule for learning activities and relaxing and fun activities is crucial. Be a role model. Take breaks, get plenty of sleep, exercise, and eat well. Keep connecting with your friends and family members. For those of you who are at higher risk for serious illness, such as older adults and people with underlying health conditions, special considerations must be made. Older adults and people with disabilities are at increased risk for having mental health concerns such as depression. Mental health problems can prevent, can present as physical complaints such as headaches or stomach aches or cognitive problems such as having difficulty concentrating and focusing. 
doctors may be more likely to miss mental health concerns among people with disabilities and older adults, often interpreting depression as a normal part of aging incorrectly. Common reactions to COVID-19 include concern about protecting oneself, concern that regular medical care or community services may be disrupted, feeling socially isolated, feeling guilt if loved ones help them with activities of daily living, increased levels of distress. During this time, it's important we support our loved ones. Check in with your loved ones often. Virtual communication can help you and your loved ones feel less lonely and isolated. Consider connecting with loved ones by telephone, email, mailing letters or cards, text messaging, video chat, or social media. Help keep your loved ones safe. Know what medications they're taking. Monitor medical supplies. Stock up on non-perishable food. Importantly, take care of your emotional health. Stay home if you are sick. Just know that this is temporary and we will all get through this together. Take care.